Martin, yesterday's surfacing of an anti-Muslim DVD created a bit of a stir in the community. Although there hasn't been a big problem with violence towards Muslims or refugees here in Twin Falls, it is concerning it may head that direction. Courtney Solomon got some local reaction and has more in the following report. The DVD that surfaced has been going around Pocatello a few weeks now. I think whoever put that message out there doesn't have anything to do with their life. These students believe the refugees should be accepted in the community. We need to help everybody in every way that we can. And if that's bringing them over here and helping them out a little bit, then I think we should do it. If they had better situations to live in, they would stay here and they wouldn't be here seeking help. So people have to be a little bit more open-minded to understand their situation. Some people fear that these refugees are or will become a threat. I think it's, it's okay to be a little scared, you know, but um, it's important to respect them and, uh, you know, maybe get to know them a little bit. So Fear leads to hate. Hate leads to anger. And anger leads to more victims. Nationwide, people are being harassed for being a Muslim, a refugee, or just being perceived as such. Here in Twin Falls, despite the CSI Refugee Center and those protesting against it, prosecuting attorney Grant Loeb said it isn't a big problem here. They haven't really caused any significant uptick in um, offenses against the refugee population. Some of the recent protests could be considered crude, but not dangerous. Some of them have used uh, strong language and, and some of it is strong, you know, symbolism, but uh, there hasn't been any attack on anybody. In Twin Falls, I'm Courtney Salmon, Idaho's First News.